even another one. It doesn't need to be a long video because I'm just going to want to talk about the symbol changer. And it's a great piece of software. Uh, I, did, I only just really sort of realised how good it was uh, about a week ago. And I just got around to actually uh, deciding that this is going to go on the spreadsheet as recommended software. And the reason for it is that it does tidy up your terminal a lot because there's only a few windows. Uh, for this window, um, I use uh, support resistance, the auto trend line, FX multimeter, current ratio and ratios. And that's probably enough for one screen. Uh, you could have the order book on it. You could have the TPO volume profile on it, but then it would just obscure price. And it's fairly clean how it looks right now. Uh, you can see how AJ, you know, it's, it's bullish because we crossed the 50% line about here-ish. And, you know, it's uh, supported by the trend line. We're above monthly pivot. And, um, you know, that's that. So it's quite good. It gives you a nice clean interface without too much information. But what if I wanted to look at the pitchfork once, once if I want to look at the volume profile? Well, that's what the separate window is for. Okay. Uh, so go to file, uh, navigator, and we're going to go to symbol change, add to chart, uh, just do the defaults. And so this is pitchfork. Okay, so we can press escape to get rid of the Elliott waves. We don't really need that. And uh, I would probably do this just to you know create more of a larger screen. And we're looking at AJ, aren't we? So we know AJ is actually a bearish sequence, which looks like there's a resistance we're actually coming up resistance now we were looking at the half hour and we've got a bearish sequence on the half hour as well uh, so that's uh, support resistance it looks like we might be hitting some resistance on the harmonic yeah, admittedly it's formatted the pitchfork strangely there's the resistance there 38.2 uh, fib extension 81.50 so Zoop gives us the levels, which is quite cool. So we know there's a bit of resistance. And, uh, you know, we've got the stop loss cluster above and the stop loss cluster below. Uh, this is a monthly high. So this is going to be some resistance. Okay. So that's that. So that's uh, support resistance lines and multimeter, the current ratio ratios. We've got pitchfork. And what about we look at volume profile as well. So you can see, you can see how powerful this is going to be. And you just click back and forth to get ideas. Right, we were looking at AJ, so for view, uh, navigator, uh, simple changer, right click, attach to chart, click OK. I think I might rename them the unique ID, but you don't have to. I might do it because I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> so I might change it so it says TPO volume profile, that one would say pitchfork and whatnot. But at, for, for this uh, video, we'll just keep it as it is. And uh, we were looking at AJ. So how are we looking at the volume profile? Right, we know there's a confluence level right here at 8103. We've got resistance at 8216. This is H4, right? So if we zoom in a little bit more, maybe we'll look at half hour. Uh, so we've got clear skies ahead. So we have to be a little bit careful. And uh, so maybe below 8132, we might chop down and get some support and the thicker line is uh, a stronger support or resistance the thin lines we can kind of disregard but the thick lines are important because they're the volume nodes the point that controls um so that's that so um hopefully it's a good demonstration so euro usd um there you go might get rid of that for a sec uh, so we can see we, we did falter a little bit just below the SLC. Potentially what's happening is that we're not going to probe it yet. We're going to get it for the NFP, which is tomorrow. A little bit of weakness creeping in on the very, very small time frames. Uh, so that could be useful. How are we looking at the pitchfork? So you can see how you can use it. And we've got a uh, bearish shark <laughs> and resistance at 118.87. All right, so that's your pitchforks resistance. And uh, we've got the stop loss cluster above. Monthly high here. And uh, so that's that. So you can use it 
um, to your heart's content and you can use it on a large screen and have multiple displays uh, multiple windows uh, it looks really good and it's very very powerful so how are we looking at the euro usd i don't know if there's going to be much above we'll look at a sort of, uh, larger time frame uh, so there we've got some confluence there 119.24 119.34 this looks more important because it's the volume node from this session and there was a lot of activity there and it did sell off at that point so we might navigate towards that um, point of control so uh, hopefully it was a good demo um, and I've also got the auto chartist uh, indicator there as well which is pretty cool but um, that's a video for another time so there's the dollar CAD it's a bearish triangle so bearish below 12581 that would have been a good short see how it you know it tracked that support it broke below and it tells you where to target as well which is really cool so i'm going to make a video on this um tomorrow if i if i can get the time but really this video is on the simple changer and i thoroughly recommend that you give it a go it's so amazing and it's great because you haven't got multiple tabs just to, to go through you've only really got depends on what you want to look at for your analysis i'm quite keen on um sentiment obviously and I love my pitchforks just because the soup gives us levels and for extra confluence you've got the TPO volume profile so this is all available on the spreadsheet this is now going to go on the spreadsheet as recommended software because it's absolutely amazing and so that's that so it doesn't need to be a long video uh, NFP tomorrow so I'm going to do a little uh, like a brief before and uh, I'll cover some repairs beforehand. It's likely it's going to take stop loss clusters tomorrow because, you know, that's just Forex. It, it, it can, so it will. I wonder what's happening in the Euro USD. We have got a bearish harmonic, so we'll have to wait and see. Remember on the Euro USD, 118.87. I'm quite close. Um, above that, we can target 119.20, and that has a confluence with the TPO volume profile, 119.24. So there are your levels. So if we do go above that, we could target this, and then that's got a confluence of a volume node. So just be careful, and have a good night, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.